Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just posted this picture on Laser Tips and Tricks and explained that it was a canvas that cost like $2.25. And it's 16 by 20, and you could buy smaller ones and paint them and test them. And, or I even tested on a big one, and I'll just keep testing different uh, pictures and scenario. But somebody emailed me and asked me how I created the border and exactly what's going on. So here's the file, you know, that I use. Anything in black will engrave off everything in white or let's do a yellow box trick. Anything in yellow will stay black because it's not going to engrave. So anything in yellow will be black and anything in black will be basically a white. I wasn't extremely happy, but I said in that video that my wife really like that. And so somebody asked how I got the jagged edges and exactly what I did. So I thought I'd just go kind of go through it. Pretty simple. Uh, without holding down your control button and unlock your ratio, make your whatever your size. Mine was 16 by 20. And I'm going to put it in the center of the page like I always do. And then I'm going to take my graphic, which normally would be black, and I'm going to hit put it in the center of the page also. And then, holding down the control button, you can move it up and down. And then just kind of grab it where you want. Now that's a little bit too big a font, so let's lower it a little bit to like 95. We've got it, this is the outside of our border. It is actually probably still too big. So let's just reduce it manually and then we hit p put it back in the center of the page and then bring it down holding down the control button and just kind of get it where you want it then all i did was to make the jagged edge is we've got a framework here let's uh let's go to effects and contour that way we get a a good let's go on the inside two inches That's not bad. Uh, let's go 1.5. And our, so our graphic is a little bit big, which is kind of a okay thing. So just uh, holding down the shift key, it will grow from the center out and you won't have to put re, uh, recenter it. So this is a contour now. So we have to go to object and break the contour apart. But all I did to make this jagged edge is use the roughing tool under the shift, under the shape tool, and you know set it like at one inch or whatever. That's maybe not big enough, and I just did a video the other day, so I'm gonna set it on two. And you can change this and change this and have all kinds of different uh, scenarios, but then just take the roughing tool and click on it and then just start moving it and just go all the way around and sometimes don't go all the way to the end and sometimes do. Then I took the smoothing tool and just real quickly smooth some out more than the other. And this is, this is kind of where your artistic ability will show up. So I'm kind of ho hovering over the parts I want smooth. And I, you know, I wanted some jagged and um, some not. So that looks pretty good. So then all I had to do is take the Smart Fill tool, set on black, and fill in this, 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 and all the little parts of the letter. And really what I, what I should have done, let's back up here. I should have made probably the font um, an outline. So take your font, go left click, right click, because you want that individually, because um, this is all going to be white. So then take your Smart Fill tool, fill that in with black, fill in all your graphic. We can actually grab that graphic in a second. Or am I doing, I'm doing that wrong. 
I, I filled in the wrong part. I want to fill in this with the Smart Fill tool. There we go. And then everything else will be white, will stay. Uh, and then you have to fill out the letters. And all you have to do really to get rid of this line on the font, because it'll actually make it a little bit thicker and better, is to go off the page and grab it and right click no outline and watch it grow. Because we want it a little bit thicker, you know, to show up. And then all you have to do is take your blue object. Easier said than done. Well, you know what we could do is move that out of the way for just a second. We can delete that line. Sorry, I hit the calculator button. This should, I should be able to grab it, but I'm just going to keep moving stuff out of the way until I got it. There we go. And then you can just nudge this right back. You don't really need this outline anymore with the exception of the, to make sure it runs right in your laser. And then just park it up the top left-hand corner of your laser. And I always, even though I know this is 16 by 20 and the canvas is 16 by 20, I'm going to run a test with this. This is a hairline. And if you if you have a red dot pointer, you can run just that line and make sure it's on your canvas. I actually take little pieces of wood, a square wood, and butt it up against my canvas. And so I can see the red dot pointer. Um, let's just make a red dot pointer real quick. Uh, I'll have to make it quite a bit bigger than it would be. But so anyway, if your red dot pointer is running right on that edge, you can actually see it on that block of wood uh, if it runs off just a little bit. Now, because it's in the corner, my laser just does these two lines because it ain't is it is not going to engrave or cut on the rulers. But once you have that, just run that job as a raster only. To make sure you don't cut anything because the canvas and just make sure you know you run your speed real fast and your power real low on my 60 watt laser laser i rented at 25 power and 100 speed and it did this which i'm quite pleased with i i can see doing this in the future anyway i hope that answered their question thank you for watching